clinical evaluation protocols for childhood glaucoma. Childhood glaucoma affects 1 in 15,000 life births. The Childhood Glaucoma Research Network, composed of clinicians and scientists in collaboration with the World Glaucoma Association in July 2013, developed a new classification system for childhood glaucoma. According to this classification, childhood glaucoma can be mainly classified into primary childhood glaucoma and secondary childhood glaucoma. Primary childhood glaucoma is further classified into primary congenital glaucoma and juvenile open angle glaucoma. Primary congenital glaucoma is subcategorized based on the age of onset as neonatal, infantile, and late. Secondary childhood glaucoma is classified into glaucoma associated with non acquired ocular anomalies, glaucoma associated with non acquired systemic anomalies, and glaucoma following cataract surgery. In Arvind Eye Hospital, Madurai, a total of 610 cases of childhood glaucoma were evaluated from the years 2019 to 2022 till date. Among them, 78 cases in the year 2019, 59 cases in 2020, 306 cases in 2021, and 167 cases in the year 2022 were evaluated till date. Coming to the age distribution of the patients, there were 126 cases with age less than 1 year, 126 cases in the age group of 1 to 5 years, 182 cases in the age group of 6 to 10 years, 177 cases in the age group of 11 to 15 years, and 44 cases in the age group of 16 to 18 years. Our team has developed an evaluation protocol for childhood glaucoma so as not to miss any detail which aids in proper diagnosis and management of the patient. We have classified the protocol based on the age of the child, that is for infants less than 1 year and for children more than 1 year. For infants less than 1 year of age, initially vision assessment is done. A detailed history including the antenatal history, the birth history, postnatal history, family history, pedigree chart, and past medical and surgical history are noted. Intraocular pressure is checked by the eye care tonometer and a preliminary examination is done by a torch light or a portable slit lamp followed by documenting a clinical photo. For children more than one year of age, vision assessment is done initially and can be classified as children with clear cornea and children with a cloudy cornea. In children with a clear cornea, Refraction is done followed by history documentation, whereas in children with a cloudy cornea, directly history documentation is done as refraction cannot be performed in these cases. After taking history and the intraocular pressure measurement, the axial length is measured, followed by ocular examination by torchlight or a portable slit lamp or slit lamp examination depending on the child's cooperation. So how frequently should the axial length be checked? It has to be checked every 6 months for children less than 5 years of age and every year in children more than 5 years of age. How frequent should we check the intraocular pressure? The intraocular pressure has to be checked every visit as it plays a key role in deciding the management. Essential elements in a review case record include the visual acuity, refraction, intraocular pressure, ocular examination and axial length measurement whenever necessary. For the required children, low vision assessment is done and any other investigations like B-scan or UBM are performed whenever necessary or whenever indicated. A final examination is then done by a senior glaucoma consultant and a pediatric ophthalmologist and the management is done either medically or a planned examination under anesthesia is then done. Counseling is also done to explain the parents regarding the disease and the importance of medical management and also sibling counseling is emphasized. A detailed systemic examination is performed and a pediatric referral is also done if necessary. For children with amblyopia, a pediatric ophthalmologist consultation is done and patching is followed as advised. Low vision assessment is also done whenever required for certain children. For infants from 0 to 6 months who have 
visual potential of fixing and following light, porch light with color balls and running light are used. For infants who cannot fix to the light, color balls and running lights are used for vision stimulation. For children with age more than one year, vision stimulation is enhanced by picking object activities and assessment is done using teller activity, Lear grating and hiding hiding. If the child is special, then only Lear grating and hiding hidey are used in the assessment. For children more than 5 years of age, hiding hidey and pelidopsin chart are used. The children are trained in a child friendly environment to walk independently. The Vikas app is also used to understand the level of understanding of the child and also helps in assessing the child's ability and the areas in training. Digital magnifiers can be used to enhance the reading ability of the child. The recent developments are the smart vision glasses. This is a wearable device which works on artificial intelligence, machine vision and machine learning and helps in facial recognition, provides walking assistance, eating assistance and also to understand the surrounding things. As a conclusion, we from Arvind Eye Hospital Madurai have joined hands with the USAID team and have developed this clinical evaluation protocol and have succeeded in managing these children with childhood glaucoma better than before.